the previous examples included only raw data but whenever there are huge number of data the numbers are usually arranged uh, using table in an organized way for example in this case the first row represent the marks scored by the students and the second row represent number of student scoring each individual mark so for example two students scored zero seven students scored five five students scored nine so by adding these numbers in the second row we will find the total number of student involved so n equals to 30 in this case okay so to calculate the mean of this data we need to find the total marks and the number of student so in this case n equals to 30 and to calculate the total marks obtained we need to multiply the numbers in both the rows that's because for example this one 10 students scored 8 it means each of the 10 student got 8 so the total scores total score of 10 student is 80 so that's why i am multiplying the numbers so 0 into 2 3 into 4 5 into 7 in this way we will have to multiply all the numbers and the final score will be your mean next comes the mode mode is the highest frequency number so by looking at this second row we can see the highest number is 10 it means 8 is scored by 10 students this is the score which is obtained by highest number of students so that's why mode equals to sorry mode equals to 8 that's 15.5 so median equals 15th term and 16th term divided by 2 we have to find the average of 15th and 16th term but the problem here is the data are in a tabular form so you have to convert this in raw data form so that we can understand it in a better way so for example 0 2 it means the first student the first two student got 0 so 0 plus 0 0 is repeated and 3 is scored by 4 students so I will write here 3 4 times next 5 is scored by 7 student so 5 5 is written 7 times then 8 will be written 10 times so in this way we can see we need 15th and 16th term so 2 plus 6 that is 2 plus 4 is 6 that is 6 term is 3 then 6 plus 7 is 13 it means starting from the 7th term all the numbers up to 30th term are 5 next 13 plus 10 23rd term that is starting from the 14th term all the marks up to the 23rd mark is r8 so we need 15th and 16th so 15th and 16th term are 8 so 8 plus 8 by 2 so the final score is 8 well this is a lengthy process and time consuming we can also calculate it from the table too for example 2 plus 4 so 6 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 10 23 it means the 15th and 16th terms are 8. So this example includes the group data so the marks are given in a range in this time so the mean equals to total by n n is 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 20 that is 50 so total number of student is 50 but total marks in this case we cannot just multiply the numbers in both the rows that's because there are two numbers and it is in a given range 0 to 3 that is 3 is the upper limit of this range and 0 is the lower limit so for considering a good representation we will take the mid middle value midpoint of 0 and 3 that is average of 0 and 3 which is 1.5 into 6 so we will find the midpoint of the range and then we will multiply similarly 0 plus 3 divided by 2 into 10 
5 plus 8 by 2 into 14 8 plus 10 by 2 into 20 hence the final value will be your mean in case of group data they call the mode as modal class because we cannot find the exact value of mode we can just see that 14 uh, 20 is the highest frequency value that is 8 to 10 is your median class highest number of students are present in are presented in this class the next term is the next thing is median to calculate the median we have to learn a new formula in this case at first we will find the n plus 1 by 2 so 50 plus 1 by 2 that's 25.5 means we have to find 25th and 26th term but in this case 6 plus 10 that is 16 plus 14 that is 30 so we can see that 25th 26th are in this group so after identifying the group remember this is your median class then we have to use this formula to calculate the median which is L plus N by 2 minus capital F divided by F into CW so L is lower limit lower limit of what lower limit of the median class so in our case our median class was 5 to 8 that is 5 is the lower limit so L equals to 5 n is the total number of students so total frequency total frequency in our case is 50 next comes small f small f is the frequency of the median class so our frequency class was 5 to 10 so uh, so median class was 5 to 8 so frequency of this class is 14 so small f is 14 cw is class width class width means the size of the group of our median class so 8 minus 5 that is 3 the next is the capital f which is the cumulative frequency preceding the median class means cumulative means we have to add all the frequencies so 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 20 so if we add the frequencies we will get the cumulative frequency but how uh, how many classes should we, should we include here we have to find cumulative frequency preceding the med median class that means we have to take the frequencies of the classes above previous to the median class you cannot include your median class so in this case 6 plus 10 that is 16 so capital F is 16 so 50 by 2 minus 16 by 14 into 3 this will give you your median value